Okay, in this lesson, I've opened up a drawing called ObtainInformation.dwg, and we're going to take a look at various ways to obtain information about objects and distances and areas in our drawing. So the first thing we want to point out, we've got some basic shapes here, a line, rectangle, circle, and an arc. And the first thing that we're going to do is load the inquiry toolbar. We'll begin by selecting first the list entity information, and I'll go ahead and choose the basic entities, and then press Enter. And here what we'll see under the BricsCAD prompt history is going to be the properties or listing for each of the items selected. So the first item is a line. Here you can see we have from point and two point coordinates. The length of the line is given, as well as its angle and delta values. Below that is a lightweight polyline used to represent the rectangle. And again, similar types of parameters, but in this case, we also have an area and perimeter. And then below that is the circle object. And if we look at the circle object, we can see Again, some of the same types of properties like handle and current space, layer and color, but other types of properties specific to circles. So, for example, a center point or a radius. For the circle, the circumference is also provided, as is the area. And then below that is the arc listing, where we can see the specific properties for the selected arc. Again, with the types of properties that are specific to the element itself. Closing that and then we'll pan to an area of the drawing that has a piece of property, the lot lines on a piece of property laid out. Next thing that I might want to know is the XY coordinate of a particular location. So here I'm going to select the endpoint of the line and BricsCAD returns the X and Y value for that particular coordinate. Continuing on the inquiry toolbar, the next command that I might want to look at is the distance between two points. So here I'm going to select one corner of the lot and then snap to a perpendicular point on a contour line. And here I can see that my distance is 45.5942. Okay, next thing that I might want to figure out is what the area of a given space is. So this time, clicking the Area command on the Inquiry Toolbar, I'm going to select individual points around this these lot lines. Now I'll point out that I'm not quite following the uh, property line precisely. And so this current measurement is going to be an exact measurement of the area that I'm measuring, but not necessarily an exact measurement of the uh, lot lines. So here we can see that it's an 18.65753. Now if I want to get an area or perimeter of the lines themselves or the exact boundary for the piece of property, what I can do is convert this into a single object. I'm basically going to select the join command and then we're going to select those entities. combining the objects into a single lightweight polyline. Now, when I select the list command again, this time I'm going to choose the find area of one entity option on the prompt menu. And then I'm going to select the boundary that was just created. And the area for that particular object is now returned, as well as the perimeter. This completes the lesson on obtaining information from objects in BricsCAD.